What's up YouTube? This is a Daily Dose of Mental Health and in this video I'm going to be discussing a topic that a lot of people have been asking me about and I know um, my fam my brother who's a uh, it's summer for him for high school he's looking for a job and this is a common question I remember when I was in high school even that I had and up to today is how do you pass a urine test if you've been consuming a THC product or smoking THC, marijuana, cannabis um, for a vast different amount of times? Um, how do you pass a urine test? Um, it's kind of different than the normal videos I do. Um, but yeah, uh, if you like the content, please like and subscribe and I'll give you some tips on if I, how I uh, passed P-Test back in high school and how it can be applied to if you have a job uh, if you're applying for a job or you know you have a p-test coming up how to pass a drug test all right so let's get into it in the subscribe button i believe is in the right hand corner down there also it is my the ac is currently out again the place i live so i have a fan blasting and it's like 90 95 really humid so that's why i don't have a shirt on all right okay so this video as i said how to pass a thc test um for uh how to pass a drug well how to pass a THC test um and specifically a urine test um for a potential job coming up let me go ahead and say this now this video is not for anyone if you have a drug test tomorrow this I want to go ahead and get out there is if you have if you know you're gonna have a drug test if you have at least seven days to get clean because in my opinion if you don't have seven days then you can go try, I guess, detox drinks and whatnot, but I'm not a big advocate for those because I feel like those don't, those don't work all the time. And same with like cranberry juice and stuff, I don't think it works. Um, I am a healthcare professional as well, and the way the drug tests have been working um, in the last couple of years is they've, they've gotten a lot better at testing, especially with urine, uh, urine tests, the sensitivity, so they can really tell and detect like if you try to, you know, use someone's urine has to be a specific temperature or synthetic urine same thing the detox drinks as well are very are becoming easier to test for um so if you have a one week to get clean of thc products this is the plan i would use number one stop using cannabis if that's edibles if that's smoking you have to quit this will not work if you continue to until the day of or you know two or three days before you have to quit you have to give your body at least a week so you have to stop that's number one. Number two, you need to exercise. Um, in, in particular, cardio. Cardio is the biggest thing, and you need to get, you need to be working up a sweat where you, it essentially looks like you're getting out of a sauna or a steam room. And matter, as a matter of fact, if you do do cardio and you go to a gym, something great for you would be to actually, if there is a, if they do have a sauna there, go work out, um, jog, walk, work up a sweat, do at least an hour of cardio and then go sit in the sauna um, and don't worry about weightlifting cardio you're trying to push that water fluid burn fat and I'm gonna be discussing ways to burn fat outside of just working out um, in a couple steps number three is drink water primarily um, now don't go and just drink like you know try to drink four to five uh, four to five liters of water and have nothing else with it try to drink you're supposed to drink typically two liters of water a day which most of us don't do you typically rely on how's your like your urine color if it's clear uh darker so if you've got clear urine that means you're hydrated but try to drink at least two to three liters of water if not more um i typically i mean this is right here i believe is a liter of water or a little bit over so make 1.5 liters so i try to drink try to drink at least two to three of these bottles every day Plus a little bit more if you're working out. Um, be, because once again, I want to go ahead and say that sodas and high sugary drinks actually can help you retain a lot of times uh, THC in your system and you're trying to push it out. So water and to stay hydrated if you need a Powerade with it, like one Powerade with it um, to make sure you get your electrolytes replenished, that would be fine. But the big thing is staying away from sodas, excess, um, sugary, juicy drinks. Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and say it now, the day, the day of your test when you're exercising and whatnot, um, the day of your, sorry, of your urine test, do not work out. So if let's say the urine test at 10 in the morning or 11, do not work out um, the day of because you can inadvertently actually piss hot if you work out the day of. 
Um, and also don't use the first urine of the day because it's the most concentrated where you'd be the more likely to actually test positive. Make sure you pee, I would say at least three times before your exam. So you might have to get up a couple hours earlier um, before it. Um, the next one, so this goes with burning fat as I was saying a couple minutes ago. Try to eat foods that are high in protein and in, uh, in eating healthy fats. Now this doesn't mean eating you know, fried chicken um, very salty foods. This means like things like nuts, almonds, um, lean meats, um, and for carbs and stuff, fruits, vegetables, and you can in, make sure you're getting carbs. The key is, is avoiding the things, as I said, those fried foods, those high fatty foods, um, also like chips, candy, avoid that. So if you eat foods that are higher in protein and high in healthy fats, with moderation of carbs with it. So it's essentially be like if you wanna eat like a bowl of pasta, making sure you're getting lean chicken in it, grilled chicken, and some vegetables in it, that would be good because what happens is when you're working out and that's what's in your system, your body, as you continue to do cardio, will learn to utilize your fat stores more because you're eating healthier fats and protein um, instead of just burning through your carb stores in your body and then you're getting tired and that's it. If you can, if you can burn, if you can, if your body can learn to utilize your fats while you're working out, you will actually burn the THC out of your system faster, which is proven. And I know this kind of sounds confusing, but essentially what I'm trying to tell you is, is if you're eating healthy and you're focusing your diet on high protein and high and healthy fats and moderation and carbs, when you go work out, your body, your body adjusts really quick within a couple days of this. That's why I say you need a week. Um, your body will learn, you'll have more consistent energy and you'll be able to work out a little bit longer. And your body will learn to utilize not just, if you're just eating unhealthy carbs, you'll just burn through your carb stores when you're working out and you'll crash and you'll have to have more carbs again. Um, but if you eat a meal with balanced, lower carbs, balanced with higher protein and healthy fats, your body will end up actually um, utilizing those when you're working out so you're burning your protein and your fat stores um, which is actually one of the best ways to get THC out of your system so healthy eating is uh, in my opinion really key um, as I said do not use the first year in the day of your test that's the most concentrated try to use the second or third one and do not work out the day of lastly if you do smoke cigarettes and you drink Try not to drink at all the whole week and try, uh, I know some people can't quit smoking cigarettes, but try to reduce the amount you're smoking because nicotine as well can stick, can help maintain and have it stick to your fat cells, the THC. Um, let me see if there's anything else. I think that is it. And this is once again for if you have to get positive, if you have to, um, if you have one week to take a pee test. Oh, and lastly, another variant, depending on your BMI, body mass index so if you're already somebody who works out a lot and then you're pretty good shape and have a lower lower fat um, when you have like you know you have lower fat levels in general you have a higher chance of passing it and a lot of what plays key is you, what is your metabolic rate how's your metabolism do you have a fast metabolism and the reason why I mention all this is because if you're following this diet regardless if you have a slow or fat if you have a slow or a fast metabolism this will set you up, this will have you the, this will give you the highest rate of success for passing a drug test, a marijuana test. Um, that is it for today. This is your daily dose of mental health. Go pass those P-tests. Um, once again, I am not a doctor, but I am an RN, I'm a nurse. Um, but just the main, the main point of this video is just to kind of stay away if you can from those detoxing drinks, because those are not accurate all the time. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.